you have the power to create the life you deserve in a body you love. And we want to start off this week by saying thank you so much for allowing us to do a little recreating of our own over the past few weeks. Shay and I have both had so much going on, both personally mm -hmm. and professionally. And we launched the first Recreate Masterclass, which was a total success. We met a lot of amazing people in class, and it was so interesting to see who was called in to take the class with us. Our original intention was to create the tools to help a creative professional rise up in their career mm -hmm. and have those careers, those uh, tools to fall back on at any point. But what we found in class was a real vulnerability and essence of confusion and feeling stuck in careers that they didn't like mm -hmm. and really wanting to know what's next for me and how do I create that which is so interesting because that's why we were drawn to work to, with each other in the first place and why we created Recreate because Janine and I have also faced that major transition, that major turning point, feeling unfulfilled professionally as performers and looking for a deeper meaning and deeper, deeper purpose and discovering it as a life coach and fitness professional. So we did some thinking about that and some real presence in the moment to ask ourselves, why are these people being called toward us? And we're experiencing that sort of everywhere that we go in our careers as coaches and teachers. And so we really put that into designing the next Recreate Masterclass, which is launching in April, mm -hmm. and we're gearing up for it now. And so what we've decided is we really want to put an emphasis on that transition with getting to know yourself so well that your work can become a manifestation of you putting out your personality through a medium that serves. And that's what we're going to focus on in the next Recreate Masterclass is that transition. Which is what's happening to Janine and I right now. We are both so satisfied in our chosen professions and we really feel like we're living out our purpose, but we are facing some big time transition <laughs> changes coming up. I mean, Jay is in the process of buying a house in Connecticut mm -hmm. and she's just joined this. On the beach! <laughs> which I've been manifesting on Pinterest for a while and it's actually happening. <laughs> which is very cool and we're really excited about. And she's also going on this huge adventure, um, what do you call it? An, An adventure, adventure mastermind. mastermind. This mentorship that is going to take her all over the country and away from me. And Shay is being promoted in her job, which is going to bring so much new creativity and inspiration in that field, mm -hmm. that area of her teaching. Not only that, she's considering a relocation to California, and she's traveling the world literally teaching, literally traveling the world, Japan, Dubai, all over the place, over which the place. is taking her away from me. <laughs> which is interesting because if you remember we um, encouraged you to choose themes for the year and set intentions rather than individual goals and Janine's was community which she is fully embracing and I love because that's one of my priorities as well mm -hmm. and, and Shay's was ascension and not only is she experiencing that and promoting and rising up but she's literally <laughs> ascending into flight all over the place. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but what does that mean for Jay and Shay? Whenever you're going through a big change or a transition, it's so easy to get focused on the hows. How am I going to make this happen? The anxiety sets in, the fear begins to take over, and when that happens, it's so in, in us to try to just retract mm -hmm. and to numb out. And we let the fear take over and we decide I'm just going to take the easy way because it all becomes so confusing and overwhelming. But Jay and I don't want to take the easy way. We believe so deeply in the work that we do and our mission and our purpose together and we love working together. So that just means we've got to do a little reframing, a little reworking, a little recreating of our own once again. The hows are always going to be different no matter what. The why is what remains the constant. That's what brings us back together when the fear and the anxiety set in. And so we know that we have to go inward and use those tools for ourselves because when we start focusing on all those hows, even Shay and I mm -hmm. can begin to pull away from each other yes. or feel confused. But I like to think of myself and my work with my clients as the party planner that comes and helps you to party with purpose and create with personal power. Mm -hmm. And so I know that Shay and I need to dig in, pull up our tools, 
and regain our connection to our why, mm -hmm. which is that we really believe that you deserve to live a life of your own design in a body that you love. And that is our why, and we connect to that. All of the hows just become a matter of planning and figuring it out, and the power comes within you right. and you start to figure out the house and the universe then supports you because you're not hiding and resisting. Right. And that's what we want for you. That's all we want for you. When you reconnect and um, fully embrace your why, when you step back into that place, the how, the when, the where, all of that stuff becomes a little more manageable and a little less scary. So we want to hear from you. The real community starts over at the website in the comments section. And I want to know, what's that challenge that you're facing that's bringing up that fear and anxiety? And how can you reconnect to the why? The way is to start thinking about all the hows that you're consuming your mind with and get to the bottom of it. What's the why? What do you want to create in your life? Are you happy in your career? Do you need a little adjustment? Do you just need to reconnect to your why so that you can find that passion and purpose in what you're doing? Or do you need to go through that transition of figuring out what the next thing is and you can do that and find the motivation and the clarity to do that by connecting to the why of what you want to create in your life. These tools are so important, you guys. Jay and I face the same anxiety, the same fear, the same pitfalls and setbacks that you do. It's just that we've found a way to master those tools and the tools are really a way to support you in times of big emotional or personal change. That's all they are. And if you want to learn more about this, you can join us live for Recreate in April. And pre-sale for that starts next week. So please join us again. Come visit us next Wednesday. Learn more about it. I cannot wait to see you. Thank you so much for watching Invite to Your Life TV. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Well, I've been watching Invite to Your Life TV with Coach Shay and Jay, and I saw that they were having a live masterclass in NYC, so I told all my friends about it and joined the affiliate program, and so many signed up I got all these bills to buy these diamonds. I am just basking in the glow of good feelings and I just want to bathe in my $20 bills because I invited all of my friends to change their lives in Coach Jay and Shay's Recreate Masterclass. I got my dollar dollar bills y'all and I know what my life purpose is. What? Now is your time. Are you ready? There are only 25 spots available. Don't miss out. Reserve, Reserve your, your spot, spot today. today.